So at Jaguar Land Rover, we've been making cars for many years. And in the last few years, what we've been focusing on is connecting our cars to the cloud, the internet, and giving our customers new digital experience from when they're away from the car, but also when they're actually inside of the car. So we've been working with Harman for a number of years, from our infotainment systems to our next generation in control touch pro system, which allows us to have normal infotainment, but also with connected services that provided the platform and the framework to allow us to give our customers new apps and connect to the web, giving better productivity, but also a bit of entertainment when you're on those long journeys. So I guess the digital transformation, we're still in our early days. But one of the things that we have done is we've given customers great experiences. The ability to use connected services through all of the digital touchscreens, from the centre console to the TFT cluster and the heads-up display. So that's the day-to-day -day commute. The other aspect is it's giving us customers new digital services for the future and subscription models where you can do things like stolen vehicle tracking or even locate your vehicle when you've lost it in a car park. And this is just the start. There's a number of new digital services that we can work together on in the future to actually create the new monetization and data platforms that customers actually want. So the relationship with Harman has been ongoing for a number of years. We started back many years ago with our audio systems, when it, we used to have branded audio with Harman Kardon. That transitioned to some of the infotainment systems on In Control um, Touch, and then obviously from a software integration perspective on our latest high-end infotainment system, In Control Touch Pro. And that's what we have in all of our Jaguar Land Rover products today.